<laughs> Fire away, guys. Coach, what, for you guys, what do you think the biggest adjustment will be over there? Not basketball related, but just in general life stuff. Well, I just think getting uh, a, you know, accustomed to the culture, to the history, you know, of, of Korea in general. And I think that's one of the great things we're doing right now is spending time in classroom, getting that experience, and having people who have uh, some background on the history and culture to uh, share with our guys. How did the class come about? Who thought of that? Uh, School to Ward really came up with the idea, and Paul Busker, they did a great job to see how what fits best with our guys' schedule, because usually they're here during the course of the summer, <coughs> taking classes, and what a great opportunity to put uh, you know, a curriculum together for our guys. So you know, when they get over there, they'll have a little kind of a sense of understanding of the culture uh, uh, of Korea. But just, just a little bit ago, Jamari was asked about you know his summer and sacrificing that, and, and he goes, you know, this is a, one of the few opportunities we're ever going to get to do this. Have you really seen like how much all the guys have stepped up and, and really embraced this opportunity? I, I really do. I think it's all coming to fruition now as we get a lot of us a little closer to the day. The guys are thrilled and excited to. Uh, I don't even represent, you know, themselves, to represent the University of Kansas, but obviously I have the opportunity to represent their country. So I think it's really cool and neat to see, uh, you know, the excitement on their faces and obviously with the additions of, you know, Nick Moore and, and Julie Nebose, you know, coming from uh, respective universities to be a part of this. So it's become really exciting. I think the guys obviously are looking forward to it. Fred, I know you've been doing a lot of planning. What's, what's the itinerary look like? I mean, you guys leave on the 28th, and then wh what would you do for those few days while you're over there? Is there practice for a few days? you, you know much about kind of how everything is going to work? Yeah, it's been a total team effort in terms <laughs> of the planning, because we're obviously we're going to be over there for about 18 days. Uh, so obviously you have uh, you know, the air travel, you have the uh, bus schedule once you get there, or the train schedule once you get in. And then obviously throughout the course of the day, you know, what's the daily agenda? So everyone has kind of, you know, been involved with the itinerary process and those things. So it's been, it's been, you know, there's still a lot of TBAs in terms of what time we're practicing, and there's you know a little conflict of maybe a practice, but they have a a flag ceremony going on. So we'll work, we'll work with them, and and again, just just honored and thrilled to, to be over there. And I'm sure there'll be a little hiccups along the way, but we're we're gonna. Uh, just be excited and obviously uh, just engage ourselves, you know, every single day while we're there. Do you know how long the flight is? It is, well, there's, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly uh, Kansas City to Detroit and then we'll go Detroit to Seoul. So the Seoul, it, it's probably roughly around 13, 14 hours. So Coach Self is already loading up on, <laughs> on movies and those things uh, for that trip. But it, it should be a fun time. Again, I, I still think it's a great time for us to just, uh, you know, bond even even on that long hour flight, or, or, or not long hour flight, but that 13, 14 hour flight. What do you know about Team Canada? Is Coach even trying to scout them? You know, we, we have, we're happy they're here. I, I think they're really uh, obviously helping us in terms of preparation with the game tomorrow, the exhibition game on Friday. Uh, we'll probably try to grab a scrimmage at some point while they're here as well. But I just think, you know, just communicating with them, especially with the, the rules, the FIBA rules, and, you know, uh, what to prepare for and what to expect. So they, they, we've been able to lean on quite a bit. How hard has it been adjusting to those rules, especially with the four 10-minute quarters and the 24-second shot clock? It, it's going to be adjustment for us, uh, obviously, you know, playing under the uh, NCAA rules. But throughout the course of our practices the past, you know, a uh, month or so, our, our guys are starting to adjust. Uh, the biggest one is probably going to be the, the 24 second shot clock. So just not panicking, uh, you know, under pressure when, when the clock starts to get down to, you know, 12, 10 seconds and those things. But we'll probably, well, it, it's great because we'll play obviously a lot faster. And I think it also will help us with the shot clock change, you know, throughout the course of the season this year. Do you think it's going to be a bit of an adjustment transitioning back into NCAA rules? Maybe the guy's taking a step further back to shoot the three or maybe getting in trouble with some goaltending type rules? Well, we've actually been working on that because we've been uh, addressing that with our players each and every day, that what you can and cannot do. And obviously, uh, you know, when the ball on the cylinder and those things, you can knock it off, you can go after it. So just getting our guys to have a, obviously a fast switch to really go after the ball and in those situations to, uh, you know, adjust to those rules but you know coming back I think we'll have time to adjust back to you know to the NCAA rules as we move forward.
All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I just had to say, I had to pinch up for Coach Self. <laughs> just pinch up. I don't, hey, I don't know. I don't know what movies he's putting on there. Yeah, I was say, but he told, he told Coach Cox to load him up. <laughs> that, that's yeah. That's the uh, that's the hub there.